Hello guys, you know what, life is not simple, just kidding. What I meant to say was that you have to take decisions every day and it may be a big decision, maybe small, same as the case with computers and since computer is not smart enough to take its own decision, we do it through coding. This is technically known as condition and then there are other situations in life when you have to do the same task again and again maybe two times five times ten times or hundred or maybe infinite times similarly there are many situations when the computer has to do the same task again and again this is known as loops when these conditions and loops are combined this is known as control flow this video focuses on conditionals only Conditionals are statements that help the program to take decisions. These are of three types, if else statements, switch cases and ternary operator. I will explain if else statements in this video. Let's understand it through a program. What I want is to prompt the user for a number, scan it and then check whether it is equal to 1 or not. If it is equal to 1 then it will output a statement that the number is equal to 1. So for that let's make an integer which will store the number that will be inputted by the user. Then let's prompt the user to enter a number. Let's scan it now. Now I want to check whether this number is equal to 1 or not. For that I will have to include an if statement here and the syntax for if statement is like this. In an if statement first I will have to write an if here then parentheses and then the condition here. If this condition is true then whatever is written between these two curly braces will be executed. So the condition is I want to check whether n is equal to 1 or not. So I will have to write n equals to equals to 1. The difference between equals to equals to and equal to will be told to you in the next video. Now if n equals to 1 then I want to print that the number is equal to 1. So Now what my program is doing, it's taking a number from the user, checking whether it is equal to 1 or not. If it is equal to 1, then it is printing that the number is equal to 1. Then it's moving to get ch and then ending the program. Now let's run it. Enter a number, let it be 1. The number is equal to 1. Now let's again run it and this time let's enter 6. It's printing nothing so it means our program is correct. Now let's add another statement here which is else. This is not compulsory as you have seen. If the condition is not true then the program moves to else and whatever is written between these two curly braces is executed. So if the number is not equal to 1, I want to print that the number is not equal to 1. Now let's again run it. If I enter 6 here then the program is telling me that the number is not equal to 1. What if I enter 1 again? The number is equal to 1. This means that the program is taking decisions through the code. Now let's add more features to this program but first let's add an else here.
so now i want my program to tell the user whether the number is a negative number a positive number or a zero so for that i will check whether the number is less than equal to minus 1 if it is true then the number is negative else it will check whether the number is positive or zero so for that i will have to add another if statement here and inside this i will have to write n is greater than equals to 1 and if it is true then print that the number is positive and else this is because if the number is not less than minus 1 or greater than 1 then the number must be a zero so let's run it let's enter a negative number let it be minus 4 the number is negative then plus 7 number is positive and if it is zero then the number is zero now this program is too big i can do a shortcut here and what that shortcut is that i can remove this and this i can make it an else if statement and this an else let's remove indentation from here In this bracket this program will do the same work as the previous program so let's run it again enter a number minus 4 or let minus 8 number is negative um 3 number is positive and 0 number is 0 Finally this is the exercise for this video this exercise is designed to build up your logic and you have to do these three questions you can pause the video to note them in case of any doubt you can comment